Craig back with Shannon Miller, who, uh, if memory serves, has won seven Olympic medals. You're a world champion in all kinds of areas. She is now uh, a graduate of law school, uh, undergraduate degree U of H, Boston College, and you're doing all kinds of things. <laughs> have I left anything out? I think I probably have. Um, I'm always doing a lot of different things. I get bored very easily. So. Uh, I know you have a camp here in Texas because we've tried to get you on the show before and you've had all these uh, uh, obligations. You were kind enough to uh, to come here today. And what I think is cool is you're still teaching the sport that, in, in effect, made you famous, if I can use that term. <laughs> well, I love, I love the sport of gymnastics. I absolutely loved doing it for so many years. And when I get to come and coach these girls, I get to demonstrate just a little bit. So it's a lot of fun for me. I get to play around in the gym, but also I get to kind of pass on my knowledge to them, just like the people that went before me passed it to me. So um, it's been a lot of fun, and we're excited to be out here at Crosby. I lived in Houston for um, about three and a half years, loved it here, and I wanted to bring the camp back back here, back do we, home. Do we have some pretty good prospects here? <laughs> there are always a lot of great you know, prospects in this area. When Bella Coroli and, of course, Mary Lou Rett and all the Houston influence right. came in, do we still have some young ladies that uh, could go far? Oh, absolutely. Texas is just such a huge gymnastics program. It's a huge uh, state for the sport. And um, I remember growing up in Oklahoma, it was always fun and a little bit tough because we were in the same region competing against Texas, and we hated it because Texas was so tough, and they still are. Uh, you also are involved in a number of things. I saw an article in the Chronicle here about how you had taken up golf and <laughs> and this, that, and the other. And you're a great athlete. But we have a problem with childhood obesity in this country, and I know that's something that you're you're involved in also. Can you tell me about that? Um, I've become very involved in it. I've taken my passions, which are fitness and children, and kind of combined them, and childhood obesity is such a huge problem. I started uh, my foundation. It's the Shannon Miller Foundation, and it's dedicated to fighting childhood obesity through different programs um, and also getting um, physical education back in the school systems. But um, I'm co-chair of the Governor's Physical Fitness Council in Florida, and that's one of the things we're really working on in that state, is to get phys ed back in school so that the kids have some movement during the day. In the college programs now building to the Olympics, uh, a lot of the men's programs have been dropped or don't exist anymore. I went to Southern Illinois University, and they had, uh, had won the NCAA championship twice while I was in school, and we also had a really top-notch women's program. Uh, is that perhaps why the, the women's, uh, when we get to the Olympics, we're interested in watching both, but it seems like the women's programs are more advanced than the men's. Would it be, it's because of the disappearance of Division One, or is everyone involved in these special camps and everything? Um, you know, the disappearance of the college programs for the men do not help because that's used, that used to be where we really got our Olympic men's team um, through the UCLA program, through a lot of these huge programs, Southern Illinois. Um, that's where the good candidates came out of, but now there's virtually no programs left. So that has hit the sport hard on the men's side, but at the same time, a lot of uh, more club gymnastics for men have, have kind of popped up. Actually, one of the largest programs in the country for men is Houston Gymnastics Academy. And that's um, down just south of here, around Pearland, and that's an enormous place for, for you me have to help. A, you have a ranch here, uh, and you tell me about that, because that's where you do the training, or you have the instructors, mm -hmm. etc. cetera. Right. Uh, if you would like to tell us the website, or how we get a hold of it, or how someone who's interested would be able to do that. Um, well, the easy, easiest way is to go to my website. It's shannonmiller.com, so that's the easiest. I went to your website, yeah. and I went... <laughs> I don't remember her looking like that. You and I did a, a couple of interviews in Atlanta in uh, 1996, and you were like this little... I mean, I, you look great. I'm not saying... You it know was what a I'm long saying? time ago. You, just look, you look really good. ShannonMiller.com, yeah. and you can click on all um, the... You can click on the camp. It's, um, it's called Summer Gold Gymnastics Camp, and uh, we're working on the website right now, and it's going to go up. We're building a new one. Um, this year's was kind of a, a trial, and uh, next year we're coming back strong with eight weeks, and uh, they can get registered and come to camp. I know you live in Florida now. Gymnastics also has risen in that state. It's the southeast... Southwest still pretty good hotbed for huge, huge for gymnastics. It's tough competition, and it seems like each year more and more kids are excited about doing the sport. And of course, with the Beijing Olympics coming up, everyone's really excited about it. Well, I'm going to go out in the parking lot and perform a round off flip flop <laughs> double back, and I'm sure you're impressed that I even know what that is. Yes, yes, I'm not spotting though. <laughs> I know my stuff. 